All right, Shalom. First off, I want to start off by saying all praises, <clears throat> honor, and glory is due unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Akakadash. All praises to the world cause God, whose true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh, by Hashem meaning in the name, and Yahweh Shai being the name of the only begotten Son. Also, I want to say double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, in peace and mercy to the hopeful elect. Preaching the word and truth and sincerity on the brother Tazabon in Great Millstone. Great Millstone, Arizona, can Laura Will with another video to edify. And um, I'm going to label this one the laziness of Christianity, all right? Because here it is, the truth is going out. Um, we're bringing out on a, on a regular basis scriptures that they've never heard, all right? Scriptures that they've never heard. They have nothing to refute it. They have nothing they base their belief system on. Because when we bring things out in the scriptures that conflicts with them, they have no defense. All right? And the scriptures tell you to study to show thyself approved. So when we come out with the word and they're not able to defend it, and more and more scriptures come out to bring and prove a point. <clears throat> They revert back to you really think the Lord will punish somebody like that for that. Or and we can get the scriptures. And it all comes down <clears throat> to they never really believed and they're lazy in their faith. <clears throat> and that's the difference between a brother that is an Israelite in the right spirit within the right doctrine and somebody on the other side. That's in the Christian church and the Christian belief is the level of work that we do to be upright and serve the Lord in, in perfectness, right? As best we can. This is uh, Romans 10 and 3. It says, for they being ignorant of the most high's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness. See, that's a lazy concept. That's an extremely lazy concept instead of figuring out the proper way to do it you say F it I'm going to do it this way and anybody else that comes up with scriptures on the correct way to refute how you operate you say well God knows my heart um I'm under grace. Those are all lazy aspects. Laziness. The scriptures talk about go to the ant thou sluggard. Well, you got to labor to get this through truth. The scriptures tell you, right? Let me get this. We're well, going to go back to that. This is uh, Baruch 4 and 28. For as it was your mind to go astray from the Most High, so being returned, seek him ten times more. Right? Doesn't that sounds like an extreme amount of labor to go in that your that the Lord has put upon you? Because everybody will say, "Oh, no, nobody's perfect." Well, okay, nobody's perfect. That's true. Nobody has has been without sin. That's true. Well, and and since that that's the case. We just read the scripture. You're supposed to seek the Lord 10 times more. So that goes through a, a heavy amount of work, a labor. What is the Lord like? What is he not like? How does the Lord judge this situation? Am I, am I doing what I'm supposed to do according to it? This is the difference between a believer and somebody isn't. So back in Romans 10 and 3, it says, For they being ignorant of the Most High's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of the Most High. These people will not submit themselves unto the righteousness of the Lord because it takes work. The scriptures say this is a labor, right? This is um First Thessalonians 1 and 3. It says, remembering without ceasing your uh, work of faith and labor of love 
and patience in our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach in the sight of the Most High and our Father. All right, so it's a constant work, it's a constant labor to actually figure somebody out. It takes a lot of work. Right? You're supposed to want to be the, the, the wise, the wise versions. Right? But but Christianity as a whole, especially Jake within Christianity, they move like the foolish versions, man. They go about establishing what they think is right and not what the scriptures say is right. And even when they're shown what the scriptures say is right, they buck up because they see that they have to cut off certain things. They see that they can't do everything that they want. They see that, oh, man, maybe I, I, I can't be doing this. I can't be doing that. Even to the point where they'll sit here and act like we're in prison. Prison. For worship in the Lord, as according to the scriptures. What the scriptures tell you, we're supposed to be prisoners of hope. Right? The Lord was put in prison. You can't be in, put into the, to the stocks of the Lord. Back in Romans 10 and 3, it says, Have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of the Most High. And to submit yourself unto somebody's will, like the Heavenly Father, that takes an extreme amount of work because now you got to put out the flesh. It's not going to be easy no more. Now you can't do whatever you want. Now you got to figure out what the Lord said he wants. Second Peter 3. And 5, it says, for, for, this, uh, for this, they willingly are ignorant of that by the word of the Most High, the heavens were of old and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, right? These people are willingly ignorant, right? They willfully sin. They're willingly being ignorant, right? Willful. This is... um. Hebrews 10 and 26, it says, if we sin willfully after that, we receive the knowledge of the truth and people have received the knowledge of truth through what? The men of the Lord, right? Brothers, brothers have a little conversations while they're out there in the world operating among their family members, right? Tell you that, no, nah, you're not supposed to do this. You're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to eat pork. You, you, you should be like. Bro, I got a mother. I tell her all the time, you need a man. And when you get a man, you got to learn how to get over your emotions and just learn the way to operate with that man. You'd be better off. But people, for, for people in the world, they don't want to operate in that. So they stay, they, they operate in willful sin. Even after they receive the truth of how they're supposed to operate. It says there remaineth no more sacrifice for sin. And that's why. A lot of y'all ain't going to make it, right? There's going to be some that come out of that. There's going to be some that come out of it, but there's a lot more that are just going to continue on in ABS, right? The Lord set us up on this earth to do the right things, but a lot of people just take the opportunity to do everything off of their own emotions and feelings, and that's a very lazy, lethargic operation, man, Right? Job calls for 10 screws. You picked up five and you just hit it on the corners because you thought it was you wanted to get it over with. That's how people treat the, the that's how Christians treat their service to the Lord, man. It's a Hebrew or Romans. So it's like I need a Romans 3. Romans 3 and 10. It says, as it is written. There is none righteous, no, not one. There's none that understand it. There's none that seek it after the Most High. Right? And these people don't understand. They don't seek after the Most High. They don't try to even know what the Lord actually commanded. They are, gone, they are all gone out of the way. They are altogether become unprofitable. There is none that do it good, no, not one. And so how do you find out what to do good? Well, the Lord said it himself. Man, I had not, well, Paul said it himself. I had not known sin. But by the law, for it said, thou shalt not covet. Right? So for you to get the understanding, you got to go into the scriptures. But they, they, people in this world, they like to make up whatever they feel to be right and wrong. 
That is extremely lazy. This is uh, Romans 3 and 31. It says, uh, I'll start at 30. It says, seeing it is one power, which shall justify the uncircumcision by faith and the in the the circumcision by faith and the uncircumcision through faith, do we then make void the law through faith? God forbid we establish the law, right? But every time you talk to a Christian, you're going to hear, we're, we're not under the law, we're under grace, right? So they think that that gives them liberty to operate however they want, as long as they say they believe in the Lord. But when you bring out the scriptures, they have a problem with it. They don't want to hear you anymore. But that's 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 fine. That's completely fine. But you Christians, man, when it comes to actually knowing the scriptures, you don't. And when the men of the Lord come and bring you the knowledge of the scriptures, you're going to be held accountable. But through your softness, you're going to get destroyed. You're going to get destroyed, man. That's that lazy, lackadaisical behavior like the Lord. Man, you y'all y'all they don't understand that the time is short. The time is short. Right? Then they and the Lord closed their ears that they couldn't get this thing. Right? How many points do we have to bring out in the scriptures to refute their madness and what they believe and they still don't get it? Or or that they, they hear you say it, they hear what you say, but they refute they try to refuse what the scriptures say. It happens constantly. It's because through lack of, of <laughs> willing to leave the word because the Christians are extremely lazy, man. Romans 11, 25. For I would not, brethren, that ye should be ignorant of this mystery. Least, least ye should be wise in your own conceits. And that's the problem. Niggas are wise in their own conceits. They're not wise in what the Lord says. They make the Lord be what they want, not them be what the Lord wants. Why is in your unconceived that blindness in part has happened unto, happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles be, be come in? Right? Basically going into the falling away. But that was that's my lesson, you know, Lord willing, satisfying. You can't be lazy in this thing, man. Don't be like Christians with a lazy fucking approach. You got to be like the church of Berea, man. They searched the scriptures to see whether those things were so. That goes into work. That goes into labor, man. Let's all labor to enter in that arrest. Shalom.